you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Ooh, I'm going to have to say Auntie Michelle. What are you most excited about at this time in your life? Who's Auntie Michelle? Hey, uh. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. All right. Thank you so much for doing this with me. No problem. All right. All right. I'm here to ask you 73 questions. Cool. Let me just close the door. Right. Keep it warm. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy about life are you right now? Oh, at this moment, I'll say 10. Describe yourself in a hashtag. Uh, it might sound corny, but again, it's based on how I'm feeling right now. Hashtag blessed. If you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? Oh, you went right there so quick. Um, okay, okay. I'm going to say Maluma, and you know why. <laughs> what makes you smile the most? <laughs> Uh, the, the twins, the boys. What is your go-to breakfast? My go-to breakfast, creature habit cereal. Your favorite thing to cook? A Cameroonian dish called Fufu and Eru. What's one thing people don't know about you? Uh, I guess most people don't know. I kind of skipped high school. I skipped the 11th and 12th grade. What's your wake-up ritual? My wake-up ritual is really sad. I look at my phone. What's your go-to-bed ritual? Wash my face, moisturize. What's your favorite time of day? Mornings with the babies. You win 1000 to spend. How do you spend it? Absolutely on a trip. That's it. Travel. What's the biggest surprise you've had? When you proposed. Do you like surprises? No. <laughs> Most challenging part about being a mom to six-month-old twins. Oh my God, it's ping pong. So much back and forth. Crazy. And the best part about being a mom to twins? Uh, they're just so entertaining. They have us and they have each other and it's just cute to see all of that. Heels or flats? Flats. Sneakers, preferably. Vintage or new? Oh, depending. But I'll just, I'll, I'll say vintage has a, an edge. If you didn't live in Brooklyn, where would you live? Ooh, two places. There, it's almost tied. Montreal or Paris. Style icon? Ooh, do, 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 do. there's so many. Right now, off the top of my head, I'm really loving Zoe Kravitz. What are three things you can't live without? Okay, my cell phone, um, my computer, <laughs> it's all tech, and um, that's all I can think of. What's one ingredient you put in everything? Salt. Which was harder, law school or business school? Law school. Do you enjoy being a lawyer? Uh, it has its moments. What's your biggest fear in life? Uh, like dying in an accident. Window or aisle seat? Mm, it used to be aisle, but it's been looking like window lately because I'm less scared of flying. What's your favorite space in the house? Oh, we should move over to my favorite space in the house. Uh, I love it right here. Uh, this was like a special addition we did to the house to have these niches for books and stuff. So sitting right here, this is my favorite spot in the house. What's your current TV obsession? Oh, I just started watching this amazing show called Industry, um, HBO Max. Favorite app? My favorite app is the one I'm on all the time. Instagram. Do you consider yourself successful? <sighs> it depends. Sometimes I feel good. Sometimes I think about all the things I still want to accomplish. Most adventurous thing you've done in your life? Ooh, I bungee jumped in South Africa. Yes, the highest bungee bridge in the world. I went off that thing. How would you define yourself in three words? In three words, um, I would like to believe I'm kind. Um, I'm warm and I'm emotional. <laughs> Favorite piece of clothing you own? Oh, clothing. I don't know. It'll, it'll probably be this jacket I was wearing the first time I met my husband. There's a long story there. Must have clothing item everyone should have. Ooh, I don't like to tell people what they need to have, but uh, probably just comfortable shoes. Best advice you'd give your teenage self? Uh, um, trust yourself. 
superpower you you would want superpower flying so i could literally just get to where i need to get to all by myself what's inspiring you in life right now um i would say uh i'm inspired by people who are able to be authentic to, to be very authentic and live their authentic lives. That, that inspires me. Best piece of advice you've received? Best piece of advice. It always seems impossible and then it's done. A book that everyone should read. Oh, honestly, it's just what's coming to mind. I'm going to say Things Fall Apart by Chino Achebe. What language would you, would you like to learn? I would like to learn, I would love to learn uh, Hindi How do because you I love to watch Bollywood movies. How do you define beauty? Uh, beauty, beauty to me is kindness. You can, I don't think you can meet someone who's kind and think they're ugly. There's beauty in, in kindness. What do you love most about your body? Oh. <laughs> uh, can I just say my eyes? I really like my eyes. Is that part of my body? I don't know. Best way to rest and decompress? Uh, a long... For me, just getting under like a really powerful shower. Favorite place you've ever traveled? Favorite place I've traveled to? Ooh. I would have to say, if, if we're talking about a country, it would have to be Indonesia. I really, really love it there. When safe to travel, where's the first place you travel to with the twins? Grenada. We would absolutely, as soon as we can, get on a plane, go to Grenada. That's where their father's from, and it's also a place that I really, really love. And they have great weather and amazing beaches, so Grenada. No, what you know now, will you buy another fixer-upper? Would I buy another fixer upper? It is a challenge, but it is doable, and I will do a few things differently. But yes, I would do it again. How did you meet your husband? <laughs> we met on the street. He, uh, I got off the train, and he came up to me. And I never speak to strangers on the street, but I spoke to him. Which would you rather be called, influencer or travel or content creator? Both of them sound pretentious, I don't know why. So, call me Cynthia, or Simply Sin. Best gift you've ever received? Best gift I've ever received? Um, oh my God. You know what's really, when the very first iPhone came out, there was no piece of tech I wanted more than that. And yeah, getting the very first iPhone was a gift I really wanted. Best gift you've ever given? best gift I've ever given. I don't know, but I think I give decent gifts. I haven't heard it, had any complaints yet. What's your favorite color? Yellow. You'll always find me in yellow. Denim or leather jacket? Leather jacket. Shoes or bags? <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm going to have to say bags. Drugstore makeup or designer makeup? Drugstore makeup. African food or Caribbean food? Oh, uh, this is tricky. My husband's from the Caribbean. I'm African. Love them both. But I'm just going to have to say African gets a slight edge. Hip-hop or R&B? 90s R&B. What's the weirdest word in the English language? Mm, is the word weird? Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. Share an embarrassing moment. Oh, okay. This was really bad. I, this is a public embarrassment and it just stayed with me forever. I was walking along, I can't really remember exactly where, but it's like on 3rd Ave and I had these heels, cheap heels, and basically they just gave out on me as I was crossing the street and I literally almost did a full on split on the middle of 3rd Avenue. So yeah, people were watching and I was embarrassed. Yeah. You're stuck in an island. You yeah. can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What food would it be? One food to eat forever without getting tired. That would have to be French bread. Can I get butter though? Can I get some butter? Sure. If I get some butter, I could do French bread all day, every day. Just a baguette. A skill you're working on mastering. Well, I don't know if you could say I'm 
working on it, but I need to be a better driver. I suck at driving, hate driving in the city, so I gotta master that. Best thing to happen to you today? Best, oh, my, my husband's helping me do this. That's pretty cool. Worst thing to happen to you today? Nothing bad's happened yet. Best compliment you've ever received? Um, that I inspired someone to do something or to move forward with something that was important to them. Favorite smell? Ooh, anything light and citrusy. Hugs or kisses? Hugs. Last piece of content you consumed that made you cry? What made me cry? Probably the Nature Channel. I was watching some Nature Channel and um, every time I watch the Nature Channel, I think I'm going to become um, vegan or vegetarian, but then... Woman crush? Woman crush, I love Kerry Washington. Movie you always watch when on TV? I always, always watch The Matrix. Regardless of how many times I've seen that movie, I always watch it. Song you can listen to on repeat? Ooh, absolutely anything by Nina Simone. I love Nina Simone so much. If you can switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Hmm. What have to say, Auntie Michelle, Michelle Obama. What are you most excited about at this time in your life? Uh, I am excited to watch the boys grow up. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Are you glad you did the 73 questions? Wait, what? We're done? Yeah, that's it. That's it? That's it. Oh, that was cool. Yes, I'm happy we did it. I think I learned some things about myself. Well, I, I certainly you, learned some things. You learned some things. <laughs> You learn some things early on. All right, so thank you for doing this with me. You got it, that was fun. Are you staying? Uh, I'm, um, I'm You're on. done? Yeah. You're out? So, yeah. That's it? Yep, that's it. Bye. Later. <laughs>